Hey Wildcats, I am Sarah Lady Argumedo, and these are your announcements for the week of February 1st. Wildcats, happy Black History Month, and welcome back to Wildcat TV. Here are your announcements for the week. Today marks the first day of Catholic Schools Week. Keep a lookout on your email for any important announcements. The following announcements will be for the seniors. Please start thinking about your senior quotes. We need them no later than February 15th. You can complete the Google form or email Ms. Garrett Senior yearbook tribute pages are still available for sale. Full page is $100 and half pages are $60. Email Ms. Garrett directly for more information. Also, keep a lookout for the senior superlative voting list. Well, well, cats, those are all the announcements for today. Now here are your birthday shout outs. Hey, well, cats, here's some of the birthdays we'll be celebrating this week. Happy birthday to Mariela Perez. Nivia Gonzalez, Officer Vargas, Liliana Alviso, Angelina Santos, Selena Becerrada, Kirin Alexander, Eva Azul, and Melody C. Have a great birthday, Wildcats. Bye. Happy birthday, Wildcats. Now let's pass it over to Black Student Union for a short video on Black History Month. Hey Wildcats, my name is Janelle Merritt and I am Black Student Union's president and I would like to wish you all a happy Black History Month. Black History Month is a month of tribute to those who have worked so hard to bring their much needed contributions to the world. Throughout this month, we recognize and appreciate the remarkable achievements throughout Black history and all of the amazing Black leaders who have paved the way for us today. I am happy that throughout this month, BSU will be doing weekly segments to give you all a look at the important Black history and Black leaders. This will be an opportunity for you all to learn more about Black leaders and Black excellence. I look forward to continuing this month of celebration with you all. Now, here is Deja Owens, our Vice President. Hello, my name is Deja Owens and I'm the Vice President of Black Student Union. Black History Month is a yearly celebration for African Americans to recognize their central role in U.S. history. First called Negro History Week, the story of Black History Month begins in 1915, half a century after the 13th Amendment abolished slavery in the United States. Since 1976, every U.S. president has officially designated the month of February as Black History Month. Other countries around the world, including Canada and the United Kingdom, also devote a month to celebrate Black history. Thank you everyone for listening to us today, and we will see you next week for more about Black history. Thank you, BSU. Now let's pass it on to Emily for a weekly game show. Thank you for the update. Good evening, Wildcats. My name is Emily Suiga, and I'll be your host for today's game show. Today's questions are all going to be based on Black History Month. Today we have Leilani and Priyani who are both seniors. You already know the rules, so let's get started. Are you ladies ready? So your first question is, who led the bus boycott movement in Montgomery? Briani? Rosa Parks. That is correct. The second question is, who was the first Black president of the United States? It's Obama. <laughs> and the last question is, what is the last day of Black History Month? Briani? Uh, is it February 28th? February 20th? Briani? Uh, February 24th. Layla? 29. Okay, we'll leave it as a tie. So the last day of Black History Month is March 1st. 
Congratulations to both of our ladies. We ended in the tie. Thank you for tuning in. Stay safe, wash your hands, and don't forget our warrior mask. Go out, cats. Congratulations to both of you. Now it's time for senior shout outs. Take it away, Melanie. Thank you, Sarah Lydia. Hello, Wildcats. Here are your senior shout outs for the week. Congratulations to Casey Oriana for acceptance into Cal State LA and Mount St. Mary's University. Congratulations to Madeline Flores for her acceptance into Montana State University, Franciscan University in Steubenville, and Hope College. And congratulations to Kaylee Hernandez for her acceptance into Cal State LA and Cal State University Northridge. Kaylee also got acceptances and offering to play women's volleyball at the following universities, North Central University in Minneapolis, Ottawa University in Arizona, Ave Maria University in Florida, and lastly, King's College in New York City. Once again, congratulations to the ladies that were mentioned this week. For the rest of my seniors, be sure to send in your acceptance notifications for a shout out. Back to you, Sarah Lydia. Now it's time for Do You Know Your ISOs? Take it away, Annelies. Thank you, Sarah Lydia. Remember, ladies, it is our goal to accomplish these ISOs by the time we graduate. Here are your three questions for the week. Good luck. Question number one. A BCL student who respects God's creation, such as yourself, is a... If you trust women of faith, you are correct because she shows reverence and gratitude for God's creation. Question number two. A BCL student who challenges herself and works for good grades and a better future is a... She chose women of vision, you are correct, because she sets goals. Question number three. A BCL student who helps others when lost academically and puts others before herself is a... If you chose women of responsibility, you are correct because she demonstrates leadership. Great job, Wildcats. Thank you, Annelies. In order to celebrate Black History Month, it's time for a student dance party. moves wildcats everyone has a dream just like martin luther king jr did let's pass it over to the teachers to see what their dream is i have a dream that all students will learn to appreciate the value of an education i have a dream i have a dream that one day all my beautiful ladies will be taking their own path and be successful in the future hi everyone I have a dream that one day my students will be able to find their passions, not only to better themselves, but the rest of the world. Thank you. I have a dream that the bells of freedom are ringing justice, kindness, and truth for everyone. I have a dream that students will put down their phones and pick up a book and read for fun read for enlightenment, and read for wisdom. I have a dream that this world will have better fathers that will protect and lay down their life for their families. 
I pray and hope that we have less broken marriages and less broken families in, in the world. I have a dream that one day this pandemic will be over and our families will be blessed with good health and we will have the opportunity to travel the world again. Thank you, teachers. Wow Wildcats, before we wrap up episode 19 of Wildcat TV, here's Campus Ministry with a video to end this episode. Thank you, Wildcats, and I'll see you next week for another weekly update. Hello, Wildcats. My name is Kelly Gonzalez, and today I will be telling you a little bit about who St. Timothy is. His feast day is on January 26, and he is a patron saint of stomach and intestine disorders. St. Timothy was born from a convert mother who raised him as a Christian. Although he grew up Christian, St. Timothy fully embraced Christianity when he heard St. Paul preach. He became a follower of St. Paul and preached for people to also set an example for others. One of his famous quotes is in Timothy 1, chapter 4, verse 12, which is, Don't let anyone look down on you because you are young but set an example for the believers in speech. Eventually, St. Timothy became the first bishop of Ephesus and died a martyr who stood firm in his beliefs. In addition, throughout his life, St. Timothy helped write Thessalonians, Corinthians 2, Philippians, Colossians, and Philemon in the Bible.